I'm back again. Oh, I get comfortable. Another YouTube video. Another YouTube video. We're back. Uh, don't, don't even know what we're talking about. I know what we're talking about. Cool. We're Dana Mike. We're here to help you with your coaching business, whether it's online, even in person. I, we say this every time, on, online, but actually probably some of the stuff benefits in person. But um, Well, every week. We're big advocates, we're big advocates for, for online. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> but basically, yeah, we're still, um, we're still coaching as well, by the way. I think that's another thing that maybe we'll get to another video about the fact we're still coaching and we do mentoring with other online coaches and maybe the benefits of that of doing that because I think it's quite useful being on the uh, being on the what's it called in the trenches in the trenches front in the line trenches. in it front line yeah, in the trenches, in the trenches. Always in the trenches. Um, dealing with that but anyway today uh, we're talking about social proof and why personally I just don't think cl uh, coaches are very good at sharing enough social proof and then they wonder why they're not getting as many clients through the door as they would like. Um, they just rely on posting content without actually showing people that they get good results or showing people that the end product or how they make people feel and all this sort of stuff. And I think a lot of it boils down to they worry about the quality of their social proof. They worry about it doesn't stack up to other coaches or it doesn't look great or it doesn't sound great or whatever. Um, and usually it's because they are comparing it to their own high standards for stuff like this and not thinking about their actual client and their niche and what they actually want. Yeah, um, <clears throat> it's a it's it's a weird one that it's one of the most important things. People focus on a lot more on other stuff than they do about showing success from from clients. Um, but ultimately, it's probably the thing that counts the most um, is social proof, and and that's not just um, that's not just transformation photos. That's uh, numerous other things. So, like <coughs> the way that I've been phrasing it to. My one-to-one -one clients that I uh, I work with them every week, um, bespoke yeah. every week videos That's every you know, week video video updates every week though every week yeah, yeah every week <laughs> um, and um, I uh, let, let let let's just say somebody's got f fifteen clients right I say look you've got fifteen opportunities to show weight loss so you could screenshot their their um, the spreadsheet whilst it's on the page or show a, a line graph of, of the trend. So you've got 15 opportunities for one or two of them to have had a significant enough weight loss in the last couple of weeks that, you know, looks quite appealing or whatever to a demographic. You've also got 15 opportunities to show physical progress. So that's progress, not transformation. Like that's, there's a difference between progress and transformation and that transformation is, is, is the end goal, the end of it. Um, like they're just going to die after it, but regardless you should be posting progress not just waiting for the end point because i've had this from people oh yeah i've got a couple of transformations coming what do you mean coming like why don't you show it now mm. and then do it again in another month's time and then again it doesn't it doesn't matter so we'll get we'll probably we'll probably expand on that in a second but it's not so it's not just that but you've got 15 opportunities let's say to show physical progress you've then also got 15 opportunities for somebody to respond to your update with something like um, really buzzing after that, just what I needed, X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. So you've got 15 opportunities if you've got 15 clients for that to happen. Again, not everybody's going to reply, but you've got 15 opportunities. And you've got 15 opportunities during the week for some other kind of, you know, or other related success, whether it be scale related, whether it be fit into a new pair of jeans, whether it's hit a PB. So if you've just got 15 clients, let's say, which is still a relatively okay number, let's, let's, let's say, but you've got a ton of opportunities there to show the success that the clients are having within your coaching, but people don't show that success. And it's vital that you do because when others see that other people are working with you and seeing success, there's uh, there's trust that's been built up there opposed to just you saying how good you are or why you should join coaching. Well, why? So I've got a client who... Um, He's gonna do, he's gonna do really well. Um, he's got a good niche, so on and so forth. He's a good coach. He's worked in, in a different coaching company before, and he's gone off on his own. But um, he doesn't have as many transformations of his own to put out on his page yet. Um, so he's had to lower his prices down from his old coaching company to reflect that. Because my point being is that your page doesn't reflect as much value as it did when you were at this other coaching company, which was a, an international coaching company. I was like, so you need to, you need to, you need to change that. 
But as that social proof increases over time and you become more, quote unquote, trustworthy to that audience, that's where his, his price can then go up. And it's the same with us, is that we've posted so much social proof, be it um, people saying good stuff about us, be it um, photo shoot style transformations, be it behind the scenes of, of how we do check-ins. We've posted so much social proof that we've got trust within our audience. Like They trust that we would do a good job. So this is, I believe, how we get very little pushback on our price, mainly because it's underpriced. Um, you know, only, only for this weekend, though. It goes up on Monday. Um, you know, yeah. whichever Monday, whichever Monday that you're watching this, always goes up on Monday, and now. we've only got three spaces left. Always three, always only three. three. In fact, you've got two, haven't you? Only now, two. Yeah, we we'll cross but out the I'll three. Cross out the three on Canva. Yeah, I'll put a two. Yeah, right, yeah. if you're going to do that, just delete the three. <laughs> just put, put two. two. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I, I sort of liken it to imagine that you went, you know, you go on Amazon, you're looking for something, and you've got two products there. One's got a thousand or five star reviews, and one's got no reviews whatsoever you go with the one that's got the reviews and it's just that social proof. And again, you don't even read them. I, I wouldn't read them all. They might just say, great, good video, or, you know, whatever, good, good review. And I wouldn't bother, um, Mike, yeah, Mike, you might go, Mike, on. Mike, Mike, this one. Oh, he's messed we'll up again. In. Don't worry about always it. Always keep it in. Um, is, is it's not necessarily people, and they always, coaches always worry about, oh, my social proof's not good enough, or it's not good enough change. It doesn't have to be an amazing change. It just has to be change. It has to be positive. It has to be someone showing that, that they trusted you and that they're getting good results with you. Like, not enough coaches, like, screenshot WhatsApp messages saying, oh, I feel great. I feel comfortable in my clothes. I feel really good. Um, again, like, check-ins. They don't film enough of the little bits of check-ins or show enough of, like, their forms or things like that. Because, again, it just shows you're working with people. It shows that they're actually fulfilling these in. Um, they just don't share enough of that sort of side of things. And they, 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 they so I always get a bit of pushback because I get coaches go, I did that last week. Yeah. Right. And, and do it again this week then. And it's this whole thing of like, you need to be constantly showing this stuff. It's building up that equity in the, in the mind of the, of the viewer who's going to then sign up with you. And again, like we've said previously on videos, people will not sign up with you when you're ready just because you're looking for five people, Right they may not be looking for a coach right now, but they may really like you. Um, they may want to wait a month, two months, whatever it is. But you have to keep posting that stuff to show them that you give a shit and that you care. And often something that I think people get really, uh, there's this huge misconception about is that like coaches say, oh, my progress photos just aren't good enough. I Compared to what? Mm -hmm. Compared to other coaches that post other, okay, well, why are you looking at other coaches? Why does it matter what they think? Your, your demographic of people that are following you need to see that you're getting results of people. And I have to remind coaches all the time that to a lot of people, some of the really big transformations actually are more um, overwhelming and actually putting them off mm -hmm. because it's too much hard work. Can there's, be. There's, there's, it, there's too much change. And actually they're like, fucking hell, I'd never be able to do that. That yeah. looks like it takes a lot of hard work because they get it. They tr don't forget they've tried to lose weight and they find it really fucking hard. You're actually better off showing the people that have lost maybe six kilos in eight weeks who you look at it and go, oh, it's not really like photo shoot worthy. It's not really like, you know, shout from the rooftops but it's more achievable for the majority of people looking to sign up with you. They want to know in the first eight weeks, what can I get? Not if I stayed for 18 months, I can get a photo shoot shape. Well, not, they're like, fucking hell, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. And it, look, they're great. We post those and it's great showing them because again, our demographic of people we now work with are more inclined to want that sort of transformation than six kilos in eight weeks. They can do that probably by themselves. It's the next bit on from that, that they struggle with. So you have to think about your demographic and what they want to see. So a big one that, that are, are people just don't think about is the WhatsApp messages of each week, I feel great in my clothes, I feel great mm -hmm. waking up, I'm sleeping great. To you, it might sound so stupid and pathetic, mm -hmm. but for someone to say on a WhatsApp message, oh, I feel like I'm sleeping loads better, you could screenshot that and someone could read that going, do you know what, that's the last thing. I, I, was, I was looking at the weight loss stuff and I'm really interested in this guy and he's really good at what he does, but I just don't know if he'll be able to help me with my, like, my life and my sleep and my energy levels. You got, that one thing you post could make them go, that's it, he does everything. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. That's the missing piece. You will never know what it will be, the bit that will make someone just go, right, that's it, that's the reason I'm going to call them or I want to book a call in. You'll never know. So you have to post the, 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 the like, the complete spectrum of, of social yeah. proof. People are so obsessed with the pictures. Oh, I've got to post before and afters and they don't post anywhere near enough of the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Anywhere near. Like, and again, like what we talk about is that it's not, it's not just the, the acute stuff. It's not just like, the, the reason why people won't do it is, like you said, it's because it, 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 it's, it, it might not be deemed to be as wow as something that, yeah. you know, hitting a new low weight or whatever. It's still important because as we keep ba banging on about, which we'll probably do in another video actually, is that someone's got to be following you 
on average for about three to six months like from first follow first point of contact three to six months i'd say on average before somebody would make a you know a come through to get a buy you know make a buying decision you know and it's just the fact that you're posting that social proof on a regular frequent basis no matter whether it's absolutely fucking amazing social proof or just the everyday little client wins that still count it's just peppering your feed and your content and just in the minds of these people that are viewing your 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 content it's just building and building and building more equity that you know what you're doing that this is going to get them a result because that's what people want to know is that can this person get me a result whatever a result looks like doesn't need to be fucking getting your pro card or whatever um but let's just say you are going to coach people to get their pro cards what do you think that you would need to be showing to encourage bodybuilders who are on the cusp of getting a pro card what what have you got to show amateur cards yeah don't show them if you think of it <laughs> it's often it's often easy to think about people that are outside of your situation and go okay let's just say you are trying to coach bodybuilders to get the pro card what do you show well you show bodybuilders that you've worked with getting the pro cards like it's the social proof and i, and I, I use this analogy before about a kitchen fitter um because, because, because people people often don't post the transformations or progress, and once they posted it, they won't post it again. By the way, and I'll go. Well, I posted that one three months ago. Yeah, but you've had loads of followers in the last three months who will not have scrolled down to see that. It's still your work. This is still proof that you can do your job. So repost it. Like put it put it up again. And it's like I use this before of a kitchen fitter. It's like you have two kitchen fitters. One of them says, "I, I fit kitchens for busy professionals." who, uh, you know, want to get the kitchen, but without giving up the kitchen that they love. Um, <laughs> you know, apply to work with me. Um, yeah. You know, not going to work. But you have that kitchen fitter, fitter who tells you that, you know, who who puts out advice on, um, on three different woods for your kitchen uh, or three different sinks for your kitchen. But then you have got a kitchen fitter that actually shows you the progress of what they've done. And this kitchen, before and after, before and after, before and after, before and after. The person who did the, the, the three types of wood for your kitchen worktop, cool. You, you know, you might take a bit of that advice on board or whatever. But the person you're going to get to fit your kitchen is probably the one where it's got bang, 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 kitchen, 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 kitchen. And it's the same thing. <sighs> Coaches are focusing on three protein tips or fucking do your food shopping as the whatever. And it's like, okay, useful advice that someone might take on board. But what's going to sell to somebody is, can this person get me a result in the time frame that I want it, what I want it in? So you mm. have to demonstrate that. The other thing as well, like the whole busy professionals thing, just to go off on that one again, because we love that, as you know. But again, the coaches that say they work with those people aren't posting social proof that shows like that they help people who are busy navigate their lives again like so you, you know, again people think about social proof it has to be pictures and stuff it could just literally be a, a, a whatsapp from someone saying you've made this process fit around my busy life so easily um i can't i don't can't work out how you've done it or whatever right that's social proof and that's a brilliant social proof that is your demographic it's thinking like that like you need to it comes back to again understanding your niche and understanding who you work with so if your niche was busy professionals who want to lose six kilos, don't go posting pro bodybuilding worthy photo shoot pictures for people. It doesn't marry up. It's not congruent. Like those transformations might be amazing to pro bodybuilders, but to busy professionals working in an office, they're not amazing. They're just ridiculous. And it's like they can't ever imagine achieving that. So you need to understand that if you are working with those pro-level bodybuilders, even if they work as a busy professional in an office, you don't need to say that because they want the result of the pro bodybuilder physique more than they care about their, their job. So you need to understand, are you going after the people who have this niche of the job and you need to figure out the problems that that person has with that job and their lifestyle and what they would deem success versus the end product. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But like, if the transformation bit of it is more important, you focus on that and you make sure that your niche is focused on that. But if you're targeting someone like the Slimming World Clubs and stuff like that, it is about the weight loss to a certain degree, but it's more about actually probably the, the freedom they have with food choices, the fact they don't stress about their diet, the fact that they can actually eat regularly. That's probably just as important in terms of social proof as them losing four kilos in mm -hmm. four weeks or whatever. So it's about, <clears throat> before I choke, it's about understanding when we say social proof, we do not just mean before and after pictures. 
that that's a bare minimum that should be done regardless right and but again it should be relevant to your niche the other social proof then is well what do you help those people and what they're struggling with what do you help them overcome and it's not just about how they look before and after mm -hmm. it's the the feelings the thoughts the lack of stress they now have whatever whatever it might be and i think that not enough coaches are worried are thinking about that and again taking pictures of the check-ins and the things that people say about them and how easy their lives are and they really don't play into that enough taking pictures of the check-ins is a big one you know it, it really is like because people still don't know what online coaching is mm -hmm. like taking pictures and just saying they have online check-ins or but you know online clients smashing it and just you might not think it means anything but it does it builds up i promise you it does like showing the behind the scenes of what you're doing is and the social proof that you're giving a good service it does build up i promise you it builds up Mm. point about the pictures that I wanted to touch on is if you are collecting picture social proof which you should be in my opinion fucking hell make sure it's good like make sure it's not a selfie in a mirror mm. like fully clothed yeah. with like a disgusting mirror uh, and a poor angle and dreadful lighting like come on give uh, people the direction so again don't it's not their fault it's your fault if you've not told them how to do it again you should be sending them a video of how to do this what to think about how to set the right light and all that sort of stuff um, yeah, because like you say, it's really important. Huge, really huge important. Part of it. Like, so make sure that the the pictures are comparable in terms of the setup. You know, like it, it's not hard to say to somebody. I love it when someone like does the whole with that. The, the, they do a muscle game one, and the guy's like twice the size in the second picture, but it's yeah. just because it's just magnified in. <laughs> like, make it the same size. Make the make the, the fucking short line and the shoulder line, the headline, marry up to the same. It should be in similar line. It should be in yeah. a similar place. Mm -hmm. Like, should be a similar time of uh, time of day. Like, make sure that that happens. Hopefully on a plain background, if you can do it. Like, hope, like get that to happen in half-decent lighting because the amount of people where it's just a mess, it just looks shit. If you're also going to do it, make sure the fucking before one is on the left-hand side as well because that winds me the fuck up. <laughs> like, yeah. fuck so, it up. But it comes back to what you said the other week about, again, professionalism to a certain degree, and it's like, this is your, this is your shop window. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't allow that in. Like, say you wouldn't allow all your displays in your shop to look shit. So don't let your, this is your work. This yeah. is what you've achieved. He's, and and you get the ones that are like wonky as well, like where the body's oh, up here on one of them and then down there on the other. And you're like, oh my God, like I'm not the best. I'm not the, I'm not the best with canvas up like that, but Same even time. I have figured it out. Like, <laughs> yeah. Even I figured it out. Yeah. It's like you said, that, that's often with coaches, the missing pieces. A lot of them say like, oh, I'm not getting, you know, the signups I want. I'm not getting this, I'm not getting that. And it's, the content's fine. <laughs> But it's it's that you're just not showing that you work with enough people, and then the cut the, the comeback we get to that is why well, I don't have many clients. Okay, you don't have many clients. Then, in my opinion, that's even more reason for you to be sharing as much as physically possible. But then they go the other way; they don't share anything. Yeah. I'm like, well, then every single week you should share their check in and what they say, regardless of what it says, and and your response to that and how you helped them. Um, you should be asking them more leading questions in their check-in so that it leads to more feedback that they are positive and they are seeing changes all that sort of stuff you should be texting them during the week because you've only got five to six of them so why not text them during the week and just find out how they're getting on again with a leading question what's the thing you found that's improved the most since check-in whatever but then also it, then they go oh, but what, how do I get social proof if I don't have any or I'm just starting out right you can do free challenges you can do free things you can do all that sort of stuff you can get uh, you can say to people, look, as part of part of it, you need to provide a video testimonial uh, and a photo testimonial uh, as part of it. Often people will be will be willing to do that. Um, but it brings me on to my, my last point, this, which is, again, video testimonials. So before and afters are fantastic. Um, all the social proof with the text is great. If you can get a video of your client telling people how great you are, you can't, again, it can't be uh, like doctored in any way. It can't be, you know, all that sort of stuff. It's so powerful. And, and and coaches say to me, oh, they don't get as much reach on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, like that fucking matters. They don't get as many likes. Not going to. It's not about that. It's a place that someone will come on your page when they find you looking for testimonials, which we all do when we go on people's pages. And they see a video of someone saying that you're great and they're looking like they're getting emotional, maybe talking about it. And you can hear the passion and join their voice of what you've done is better than than anything in terms of social proof. And not enough people, again, are getting that. And they go, I asked my client to do it once and they didn't do it. All right, ask them more than once. Mm. Like, you're going to have to badge them. It's not the most important thing you're on in their life. You're going to have to ask them five, six, seven times maybe to get them to do it. It's not that they don't want to do it, it's that they're busy, right? But it's if you've only got five, six, seven clients, you should be getting as much as possible. Yeah, 
out of those five, six, seven clients. As much as possible. Sure. Because you should be giving them such a good service and they should be feeling so like that you're there for them all the time that they should be giving you good, good feedback anyway. Mm -hmm. um, every week. Every week. That, yeah. what, every week? Every week, yeah. Every week. Should be getting that. Um, I'm going to try to make that into a catchphrase for us. Every week. Um, feedback every week. Every, every week. week. Um, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, social um, proof. So yeah. basically, yeah, collect as much. Don't be scared of showing it. Don't be scared of repeating it. Um, get it out there because it, it's going to be the the one biggest thing. Like, I I know when I post more social proof that I get more inquiries. It's hands down, like hands down. I start to pepper a, a bit more social proof out there. Guess what happens? More inquiries. Like, it, it it's it, it's simple. It is really really simple. So. Yeah, and and coaches are just are bad at telling people that they're good at what they do and they yeah. think they're blowing their own trumpet and stuff like that. And it's like, look, no one else is doing it for you. Exactly. You've got to get over that whole issue and in your head of like, oh, I don't want to chat about it. That's another thing. Probably not for this video, but if you're not doing CTAs for, for your coaching, you need to be doing a lot more than what you are doing. Like, hands down. What, you shouldn't just be exclusive and only open up once every three months? Horrendous. Horrendous. Um, no, if you've got five clients, you should be doing more CTAs, yeah. not less. Don't uh, want to sound too beggy. Uh, yeah. well, you, know. you are beggy, though. Yeah. So. so There you go. We'll do that in another video. Maybe the next one. Maybe. Yep, leave it there. The like and all of that stuff. Like, share, subscribe, put That's it on it. MySpace. That's it. Yeah.